Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Damsels in Debate podcast. I'm your host, Tina, and this week's podcast is going to be a little bit different. My usual co-host, Vanessa, is out of town this weekend, but I lucked out because two good friends of mine, uh, who are also fellow movie buffs, decided to sit in with me. This afternoon, we went and saw Man of Steel, and then immediately came back to my place and did the podcast. So without further ado, here is the Man of Steel Damsels in Debate podcast. Enjoy. Okay, so I'm sitting here with Shamara. Hello. And Willis. Hello. What movie did we all just come from? That would be uh, the new Superman, Tina. Yes, and uh, yeah, also known as uh, <laughs> Man <right>. of Steel. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we came from Man of Steel. All three of us just saw the movie, so it's pretty fresh in our minds. As with every podcast, we're going to discuss the hell out of it, so there will be lots and lots of spoilers. <laughs> so if you don't want to know any spoilers for Man of Steel, just delete this podcast now. <laughs> All right, so jumping right in, did you guys, are you guys, or I'm sorry, were you guys big Superman fans before you saw this movie? No, I wasn't actually. I mean, I grew up with the old movies, but that's pretty much it. I never followed comic books or anything, so. Yeah, I agree. I, um, I've never been a big, big fan, but... I'm a comic book fan, so he just happens to be liked by default. Oh, okay. All right. Well, actually, that's good because I don't, I don't know anything yeah. about Superman except you know the real obvious stuff, and I definitely never read any of the comics. So, um, with that being said, were you guys like super psyched? Was this, was this one of your uh, must see movies this summer? Yeah, it was because there are not really many, and I was eager to see, um, I was eager to see how they were going to do it because. I'm actually looking far ahead, and I'm really excited about where they're gonna go with it. So I was saying that they're gonna give a make it a big, big, and much better introduction than they have with the other DC movies so far, excluding, you know, uh, Batman. Right. Yeah, the <laughs> Nolan Batman movies. Yeah, you're you're right. I don't right off the top of my head. I can't think of any DC uh, superhero comic movies that have really gone over all that well so yeah there's a lot riding on this movie for sure and I also agree with what you said about there's not a whole lot of big movies this summer that I was really psyched about I mean besides Pacific Rim and I guess World War Z that's it for me for the rest of the summer <laughs> so <laughs> what about Elysium uh, no Are I want to see that I want to see it but like I'm not super souped about it yeah uh, like, I'll see, see it, but... I'm, I'm waiting for that. Plus, yeah. it's from the guy that did District 9, so... Oh, really? <clears throat> I'm like... Yeah, well, I'm, I noticed I'm really the... For that. And I like Matt Damon, so... Yeah, I like Matt Damon, too. Yeah, I noticed really the one guy from District 9 is in the movie, too, so... Well, yeah. I don't know. It looks like it could be cool. But, yeah, it's... I mean, me, yeah, it's Pacific Rim yeah. and World War Z are the last two for me. Yeah. Then I don't care about anything till like, the Hunger Games movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that doesn't come out till November. <laughs> Okay, so all right, those were your uh, initial feelings. I felt the same way. I was curious about it, just for the same reasons you said, Shamara. Mm-hmm. Willis, what about you? Uh, yeah, I was just kind of curious in the sense of considering they just did that movie like a few years back. Like I don't know when that one was released, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, somewhere right on there, maybe. So. But uh, yeah, I didn't think that one was horrible. I, mm-hmm. I know a lot of people hated it. I didn't think it was horrible, but I just thought it was boring. <laughs> yeah, see, and I and I could see that, totally see that. So going into this one, I I was curious to see how this one uh, was going to be, mm-hmm. considering uh, Zack Snyder was attached to it and Christopher Nolan and all that stuff. So, yes, yeah, I agree. Like, with considering you. those two names were on it, I was like, this is probably going to be good. Which I did, I did think it was good. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're jumping the gun. <laughs> oh, like, it was okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, so yeah, now what what are your Now I, I have to sit on a movie for a little while to get my like real opinion yeah. about it, but just since we just saw it a little while ago, mm-hmm. um what are your initial feelings towards the movie now that you've seen it? I think that it was Better than I expected, but again, I didn't expect much because I have been so... The other DC movies played with my emotions so greatly (laughs) that that this one, you know, I didn't want to expect anything, but I did want to support it because, like I said, I'm a comic book fan. And and seeing it, I was pleasantly surprised because there was a lot of story, but it was entertaining and you did... Like, you did feel the character. It was very well put together. They accomplished their goals some things were a little too much, but they accomplished their goals, and they really gave you something to be proud of. You know, come, like I said, other than Batman, <laughs> that was, <laughs> that's from DC. So I, I liked it. I really liked it, and 
you know, it, it will definitely go in my collection. Cool. Okay, what about you, Willis? I liked it. I did like it. I thought my one complaint was I, I thought it was long. Okay, There was a yeah. few moments where I kept thinking it was over. That was probably my biggest thing where I, I thought it was over. Like, they were setting up, like, this shot of, like, oh, it's over, but then it wasn't quite over. They kept, they would rebuild something and keep it going, which... Once the rebuilding part came, it drew me back in, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, this is good. But, yeah, I, I thought that was probably my biggest thing is just the, the length of the film. The length of it. Yeah. So you did notice that it was two and a half yeah, hours long. Yeah, see, and I, I felt like as, as good as I thought it was, yeah, I think there's enough parts in there that slow down enough where you think it's going to end. So mm-hmm. it's like, yeah. then when it doesn't, the length kicks in, and you're like, wow, we're still watching this. Right, I agree. <clears throat> I liked it as much as I thought thought I was going to going in like I really really like Zack Snyder's movies with the exception of Sucker Punch I didn't really care for that movie Um, but I really really like his movies and I like you know superhero movies in general so I was pretty sure I was gonna like it I didn't absolutely love it I do agree that it was a little long I mean it is an origin movie so it's a little bit longer and it didn't it I don't think that's a really really bad thing but I don't know, maybe just make some of the fight scenes a little bit shorter. Because sure, yeah. there's, there's, there's areas where you could have trimmed it down just a little bit, I think. Yeah. But we'll get to the criticisms in a minute. <laughs> but I just <laughs> wanted to get what your initial feelings were after you saw the movie. So, now, I don't know exactly how to pronounce this guy's name, so I might say it wrong, sorry. <laughs> Henry Cavill? 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 Whatever. The guy who's playing Superman in this movie, what did you guys think of him? Because that's like a big role, you know, big shoes to fill with a... Christopher Reeve, Reeve yeah. <laughs> I thought he did a good job. I, yeah. I, he reminded me of, uh, I'm like, his build, his physique. I mm-hmm. mean, obviously, he's like this handsome guy. You know, he's all ripped yes. and shredded and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, I thought he fit the part. And he actually looked like what I, comic book-wise. Like, it made uh-huh. me think of a comic book Superman. So, I thought his look was perfect. Mm, so. Okay. What about acting and personality, though? I mean, he obviously, yeah. I think across the board, everybody's going to say he yeah, looks, he looks look, really look the part. I, I thought his acting was good. I mean, yeah, I feel like he, uh, I think he did the role really well, but I feel almost like we didn't really see him a lot. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of emotion. A lot of emotion. Yeah, or, or I should say lack of emotion. I mean, yeah, yeah, and it wasn't that he was doing a bad <clears throat> job. Yeah. It's just you just didn't really like he's the main character of the movie, but I feel like he's the least you know about. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? And I think that will be addressed you know, in the sequel and stuff. So I'm not really, really concerned with it. So, yeah, I'd say pretty good. What about you, Shamara? I think he did a really good job acting, but in the movie, the movie as a whole, I think the director was trying to get you to feel, get you to kind of be in his place and build a relationship with everyone around him first. So I think that's why they didn't focus on him as much. They focused on more what he did because they wanted you to build a relationship with his mother, with his father, mm-hmm. with the dog, with Lois Lane and all the other people. They Oh, you know, so, because he's an alien. Yeah, okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah. They, were, they wanted you to relate to the story so that you could mm-hmm. feel you could feel them and in turn kind of see it through his eyes instead of feeling him. Mm, okay, that's a good that's a good answer. I like that answer. <laughs> and he was hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, Wolves. We're just gonna stick on this subject for just one quick second. <laughs> good lord, that guy was very, very attractive, I think. I didn't mind any of those trailer scenes. I thought they were they were they added a lot to the movie, I thought, so <laughs> especially Spoiler alert, he was on fire, literally <laughs> and physically. He pulls <laughs> open the awful. door, and he's literally on fire. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, enough of the girly stuff. <laughs> what about Lois Lane in this movie? Did you think she was good, believable? I Lois Lane was probably, she probably, if you focus on her, she kind of ixnays my previous theory, because you didn't really build a relationship with her. She was kind of thrown in. I think the relationship was kind of everyone else. Um, oh, again, excluding Superman. But I, she was not as good as the Lois Lane in the original. I will say that, like okay. she didn't. Mm-hmm. She was passionate, and she you you were feisty with her. And this one, she was kind of there helping him out, and that was cool. But I really wasn't wasn't feeling her. Okay, Willis, what did you think? Yeah, I kind of agree. Like I feel like she was Lois Lane because we needed Lois Lane. That's what <laughs> exactly. I. I, I mm-hmm. She's a good looking lady. I don't know that lady's name, but she's a good looking lady. But yeah, I feel like. 
she was just Lois Lane because Superman, to tell the story of Superman, you need Lois Lane. So Right, right. Yeah. I've really felt no connection to it. Like, if she would have... Oh, well, oh, yeah, spoilers. If yeah. she would have died or something, <laughs> uh-huh. I probably wouldn't have cared. Yeah. yeah. yeah it probably wouldn't have mattered to me. Yeah, their relationship, I think, probably took, like, a back burner to yeah. everything else. Yeah. Which, again, we already know there's going to be a sequel, so we'll see how that goes. That could all be addressed in the next movie. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I agree. I think she did good. She was realistic, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, she wasn't walking around in like stiletto heels yeah. and designer yeah. bags and stuff like that. So I like that. But uh, yeah, their their relationship felt yeah. kind of just whatever. Mm-hmm. But I think that'll be fine in the next movie. I think almost too like it was almost just like a not that it was her origin story, but it was almost just like here's Lois Lane. We'll get to her later. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you can kind of see a budding relationship starting, mm-hmm. but they weren't like you said they weren't going to go into it. Maybe they're saving you know the hot and heavy stuff for later. Mm-hmm. But, right. Yeah, you could kind of see that, but still, yeah, I just, to me, she felt kind of generic. Yeah. So now on the other end, what about Michael Shannon playing um, General Zod, the, the villain in the movie? What'd you think of him? Man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was a man. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> I will say I I liked him a lot, but for some reason he reminded me of the bad guy in John Carter. The dude, the general dude that, um, oh, yeah, I vaguely remember that. Reminded me of that, mm. but he was very passionate. He was very militant, and he he played the part where you did, you kind of understood him, but then you kind of hated him, but then you kind of didn't because you understood that was his, what he was bred for, what he was born for. He was just seeing his mission through and through, and um, he was a really good villain, and I. I mean, I wouldn't discredit him or anything. I just think he could have been a little bit more humanized if they wanted to go for you feeling his compassion for Krypton and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. He's a little too disconnected for that. But other than that, he played his role, and I thought he did well. Um, and for some reason, again, I kept looking for Khan. I, I, <laughs> I was looking for that type of performance. Oh, Star Trek spoiled okay, me. Okay. But it was good for what it was. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, because, like, I do like that he wasn't just evil because he wants to rule the world kind of thing. He was doing it for the good of his planet. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, Or, I mean, I like that, but I agree with that it was kind of like, that's just his mission. But then, well... When didn't they say like when 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 the kids are born on their planet they're they're already like picked for who's going to be yeah, a their warrior? Their destiny is already predetermined. So I guess in a way, uh, I don't know. No. Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. <laughs> I do think he played the role really well, yeah. though. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Willis, what about you? Yeah, I thought he did a good job. I thought he came off as a very like um, kind of like what Shamar said, considering he was already you know born and bred as this military general type guy like this warrior like he said he was Mm -hmm. he came off very strong and confident and like he said no matter how cruel or brutal he was he was doing it for the good of his people Mm -hmm. so and it kind of fit his strong character in the sense of he was basically the you know the military man of krypton so Mm -hmm. yeah i thought he did a good job cool cool um do you think could it have used a few more laughs or was it okay as it is because there weren't too many jokes in this movie at all. <laughs> no, it was, it was pretty serious. Yeah, uh, it was pretty I, <laughs> yeah serious all throughout. Um, I don't think it it needed any more. Like they they tried every like they tried a few. I don't think people really caught on to them. They tried a few sarcastic remarks, mm-hmm. but you know nobody really laughed or anything. But I I think it's fine as it is. I think um, the seriousness helped the build up. The uh, several build ups. <laughs> so yeah. I think that I think that really helped um, with like feeling when Krypton was destroyed and feeling when he was trying to find himself on Earth and feeling, you know, the how scared America was. They didn't know what was going on. I think all the all that worked. I think the seriousness worked for it a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Like exactly what you said. In the sense of we're talking about pretty much like planetary destruction mm-hmm. I don't think there was room to throw in a joke here or there <laughs> yeah. to, to, and, then if, and if they did I feel like it probably would have broke the mood because you're just sitting back like can I curse? holy shit yeah, yeah you <laughs> you're saying holy shit because yeah. yeah you're seeing so much stuff get destroyed and you're basically watching like all this stuff you know what you're seeing is basically like a planet being destroyed mm-hmm. basically 
So yeah, I, th- I feel like if a joke would have popped up in there, mm-hmm. you might not have even <laughs> caught it. And if you did catch it, it's like, Ugh, is that really time to laugh? Like, yeah, yeah, like your planet's being destroyed. You know, <laughs> like the human race is gone. Ha ha ha! ha. Exactly. Look, he yeah. tripped. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it was it was fine that there weren't. You know, it's not it's not really a lighthearted movie. Mm-hmm. So um, yes, I agree. Did you guys notice anything? And of course, you know, we just saw it, so it's really hard to say but did you notice any little like nods to the other you know the dc comic universe or or to like some other superman related thing like i, I noticed on the trucks they it said like lex whatever lex luther's yeah. company <laughs> or whatever it was on the name yeah. of the trucks but i didn't really see anything else really um, the only thing we noticed was the i mean it's smallville and they're yeah. mentioning metropolis and um other than that, I really didn't notice like too many too many different things. Yeah, I feel like I don't know enough about the Superman universe to be able to catch any kind of references. True. Right. So, yeah, because the only thing I saw too that I was like, oh look, Smallville. It mm-hmm. said Smallville on one of the signs in the little town, so mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even see the Lex Luthor thing that you were talking about the reference on the trucks. I didn't catch that at all. So I, d- I did remember seeing Luthor yeah. when she mentioned it. I was like, oh, I did see Luthor. Yeah, so I didn't <laughs> yeah. see that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm the same way. There might have been some stuff, but I just, I I don't know the story well enough. Um, I did think that they would maybe hint at some other, like, not Superman stuff, but other superhero stuff. Um, just because, you know, they're trying to do this whole Justice League thing. Mm -hmm. But maybe they didn't because they're still not sure if they're going to do it. So I don't know. We shall see. Now, they're going to make a sequel to this movie. I don't know if they plan... Like, I don't know if they have it set up as a trilogy or if they're just going to do a sequel or they have no idea. So, like, I don't know. Do you remember way back in 2005 when uh, Batman Begins came out? Would you compare this? Like, you think it's on the same kind of level? Like, was it a really good... You think it was a really good start (laughs) for the Superman movies? I kind of think it was a good start, but I almost feel like with the whole General Zod story already used, I'm like, man, I feel like that could have been... Yeah. Like almost like a climactic sequel type mm-hmm. story already. Um, That's true. You know yeah, because I mean? that would have been like, like a good one to like come back. Yeah, to, to come back stuff. to because yeah. that was such a to me like the battles and things that they were doing with their you know all the fighting and all the ships and stuff like right. it was so in your face and so big that I was mm-hmm. like man this could have been easily a sequel or the trilogy type finale, but uh, yeah I mean if they go on with it you say they're going on with it so who knows where it's gonna go I don't know. Well I mean I I. Agree that they, it was definitely a good start, but and I do agree that they probably should have left Zod, you know, alive or just warped him back, you know, instead of killing him. Mm-hmm. But then I think they were trying to get that first kill in because Superman never really kill anybody. They made that a big thing in the movie, like the, that he could have hit the boys or he could have let the people drown or he could have, you know, revealed. I mean, he could have like. Um, done it so many other times where he could have, you know, hurt somebody or killed somebody, whatever, mm-hmm. and he never did. So this one time, he, and his, it was his people that he sacrificed for us. And I think they wanted to drive that home, and they did by killing that, killing Zod. But in turn, they may have screwed themselves. But don't forget that they did leave the girl alive, and then I think the big dude is alive, and the girl was pretty badass. Yeah, you know, yeah. So. I love yes. the girl. Whatever her name was. was. Fiora. Yeah. yeah oh, she was she awesome. Was awesome. Yeah, I, she was yeah, I, I really liked her. <laughs> she was very pretty. Yeah, yeah I'll give you that. <laughs> She's much better than the original girl. <laughs> oh, I'll have to look her up. She's olive oil. Oh. That girl was alright, though. She was okay for that She's back just... in the 80s. <laughs> she was skinny. She was yeah, a little skinny that. thing, but... I'll Google image yeah. search her later. <laughs> I'll Google her. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, yeah, I really liked that. That woman was pretty awesome. And like you said, they left stuff open, mm-hmm. so... I yeah I agree with everything you said. <laughs> I don't need to say anything else. <laughs> um, I really like soundtracks. I'm really into musical scores, so I pay attention to those. A lot of other people don't, so <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and ask you anyway. Um, did you were you guys into the music of this movie? Like, would you be able to like? Can you remember like the the Superman music or what? Was it just like whatever? You don't even pay attention to that kind of thing. <laughs> I totally pay attention to music. Oh, really? Music oh, good. To okay, me. good. Music, Somebody else. I feel like music can make a movie. Yeah. And it can break a movie. If, yeah. If music is crap, shitty. Mm-hmm. It's 
it can totally take you out of the moment mm -hmm. if music is not done right. And I prefer scores mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I feel like my one of my biggest complaints about movies is when they have the big top. 40 Hollywood soundtrack, oh. mm -hmm. and you recognize a song that you could probably sing along to. I feel like those type of things take you out of the mood, mm -hmm. like because oh, okay, now yeah. you're singing a song or you're concentrating on a song because you know it and you're not. I feel like, especially if it doesn't go with what's going on screen at that time, <laughs> right? So yeah. I feel like scores <laughs> when they do a score to a movie, it fits, they're doing it for that. It's not just a random song, mm -hmm. they're doing that score to to give you that emotion of what's going on on screen. And I thought the score for Superman was awesome, Man of Steel is awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. I thought it was good. It was really good. So, <laughs> go ahead. Now I, I pay attention to music too, but it, but I'm kind of the opposite. Like, if I don't notice it, it's awesome. It's really well. That means, like he was saying, it fits the movie and it's it's doing its job. It's helping draw you in. I mean, like I hear it while it's going on, but right now I couldn't pull anything out for you. Like, <laughs> I couldn't tell you how the theme song goes, but I just know that it play. It fits so well that it merged for me and it was it became part literally part of the movie mm -hmm. so i would have to listen to it separate to actually recognize but yeah. it's definitely important yeah i there's like i i can't think of how it goes right now but like i remember they used it in the commercial and then it was at the very end of the movie and i was like oh that that sounds good i like that mm -hmm. But I, I, I can't, I have no idea what it sounds like right now. <laughs> but like um, the other day I went and saw Star Trek again, or Star Trek Into Darkness like, mm -hmm. for the second time. And that movie, I'm like, oh, I get like goosebumps when the yeah. music comes on. It's great. I love it. So um, I thought the music was good, but it, it, it's like not with me right now. Mm -hmm. So it's, I guess, not up at the same level as some of the other ones. But I, I did like it. Yeah, I thought it was good. This movie, Man of Steel, uh, they're going to... They want to do the Justice League movie, which I don't know who they'd actually have in the you know, like the movie version. Because like I know like what is it? Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. Green, Lantern. Green Lantern, Green Lantern, and, Lantern. okay, it, um... and um, and um, Martian Man. Because he's oh, one of the okay. weak ones. And then Martian, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. So original. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where's he, he from? Green? <laughs> Mars. Wait, wow. Jupiter? <laughs> Wait, is he from your anus? I knew, uh... I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't forget Robin. Oh, he, Robin? Robin? Is he? Really? Yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Okay, okay. So, now that's the Justice League. But now they, they do. They want to do those that set of movies what do you think about that what are your feet <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> willis is shaking I his think, head right yeah, now i think that dc i love batman mm -hmm. i love batman superman is like eh, he's cool but i love batman yeah i'm the but, same in the but, same boat <laughs> but putting all those together i just feel dc has a long way to go yeah and with as many characters as they're trying to do like an avengers thing i just i their track record just to me, just was like, I don't see it coming together. I just right. don't see it happening. Especially since the, the last three, the Nolan Batman yeah. movies, are supposed to not be tied. Yes. So if yeah. they were, like maybe if they took the um, the Robin character, yeah. just him, yeah. and then, because I know they said like for sure Christian Bale's not going to be in yeah. anything yeah. else. Mm -hmm. So if they took just that character, maybe, yeah. but... Um, yeah, it's like they're starting from yeah, one they're, they're right now. Start it's over just, again. Ooh, yeah. I, I feel like at that point, people are, are going to never forget these last Batmans that came out. Like, these Batmans yeah. are fresh in people's heads. And they're even if way it's another too year fresh. or two before another Batman movie comes out, I just don't you see You have to how, wait like a decade. I yeah, think. Like, I mean, they're going to do another Batman <laughs> movie, and I just don't see how people are going to take that on a, on a good, mm, on a good yeah. note, you know? Well, I think their only option is to do, do Batman last because. The Justice League is so numerous. Like, I think that's where Marvel did it right. Marvel has a bunch of little groups. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they merge together and help each other out. Like, you have Excalibur, the Avengers, X-Men, you know, so forth and so on. But Justice League is pretty much the Justice League. And it's like every superhero in New York, Metropolis, Gotham, all of those I'm put together. And I think that they... If they had started years ago and did it right with Green Lantern, they could have really did that movie a lot better. Oh, shit. See, I didn't yeah. even think yeah. of Green Lantern. See, they're going to have to redo that, too. Yeah, that's what it's, I was just yeah. going to say. They could ahead, have, sorry. sorry, they could have... Um, if they did that better, then they would have already had a start. Right. Superman, because Superman kind of 
Superman and Batman kind of holds the Justice League together. So they could have started off with Green Lantern as kind of like a Thor or something. Right. Then the Superman would have been like Iron Man because he's their Iron Man. And then they could have did all the other fillers of whoever they wanted to choose and then ended off with Batman and then that would have went into the beginning of the Justice League. See, yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah. Mm. See, I I totally forgot about Green Lantern. See, and I never seen Green Lantern Mm -hmm. and I don't plan on seeing it because to me that movie looks like total garbage and and like you said, <laughs> the fact that I feel like that movie's a throwaway, that they're just going to have to totally do that over again. It, yeah. Especially yeah. with the tone of the new Batmans and now the tone of this. Excellent. Of this The tone news. matches, I yeah, think. Yeah, like it's these dark, serious tones mm-hmm. of movies. Like, yes, they're comic book superheroes, but they're darker tones, more serious movies. They're filmed and completely got, differently, too. Yeah, and then you got Green Lantern, which I'm like, let's take the children to. It's like, like a coloring I, book, I, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's what that is. It's like, yeah. look at these wonky characters. Yeah, and, yeah. Come on, kids. <laughs> Yeah. I did see the Green Lantern, okay. and I I didn't hate it. Um, I watched it at home, like on Christmas break or something, <laughs> and I, I didn't think it was that bad. But again, I didn't pay money for it. Yeah. I've never ever heard of the Green Lantern, and I was like, oh, it's a Ryan Reynolds movie. I'll watch yeah. it. <laughs> so that that's it for me. But I'm not. Yeah. I have no ties, so it's whatever. But yeah, I think they really have their work cut out for them. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have zero. I mean, I want to believe in DC that they mm-hmm. could do an awesome thing, considering the Batman's and now and now this Man of Steel. Like I could see it being awesome, but yeah, I just I hope they can do it because it would yeah. be cool. I mean, judging like I said, judging by the last movies, I think it would be awesome. But mm-hmm. at the same time, it's like. Yeah, I hope that's about all I got. I, yeah. I hope I hope you can do it exactly. Yeah. And I'm still on my thing because I know Wonder Woman is part of the Justice mm-hmm. League, but I ugh, I don't yeah. see how you're gonna. You need some really really good story with a really really good actress, and you need a lot of you need a plus stuff across yeah. the board for that movie for me to I like that. Feel movie. like they're gonna need to change that outfit too. <laughs> Hell yeah! I, I just don't see like that's what I mean. And like, I'm a dude, and I just feel like <laughs> you can't. I feel like to have a serious movie, you can't have some lady running around in like underwear, booty shorts, and right. you know like Boots. <laughs> yeah. And see, that's why I was saying um, before outside that I think that. Um, if they do like a 300 crossover, like your sister said, like a Xena, uh-huh. then I think those movies, well, everybody loves Xena. And, <laughs> well, not everybody, but a lot of people. And, <laughs> and then um, a lot of people love 300, which is coming out soon. The sequel to that is coming out soon. Yeah. So I think that um, if they, because she's an Amazon, she has her own own story. People saw them as Greek gods, so it all kind of fits in. So I think that if they do that, and her real outfit, like in the comic books, it's not always that those panties she has, like, because oh, okay. <laughs> she's a god. She's a goddess, or a daughter of a goddess. So, um, goddess they... like their panties. They love their panties. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they could really go far with it if they do it correctly. You yeah, know, that's the thing. Yeah, that's always the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, yeah, that to me is the hardest sell out of mm-hmm. every... I, like, I think even Aqu... Well, I don't know. Aquaman sounds kind of woe, too. <laughs> the whole movie's going to be underwater. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. going to be dolphins and fish everywhere. Starfish. You throw starfish <laughs> at people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I, I yeah. don't know. I mean, I want it to happen just because I love when they, like, bring shit together and stuff. Yeah. But I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, did you have, like, a favorite scene or something that just made you go, Oh, God, that was awesome. Did I mention he was on fire? All right, well, besides <laughs> besides the shirtless fire uh, oil rig rescue scene. Uh, well, I'm going to hand it to Willis while I think about that. For me, <laughs> for me, it was definitely the, um, what's her name, Fiora? Uh-huh. Like, when she was in the main town in the strip with the big guy, oh, and they were fighting. Yeah. That was that was my scene where I was like, man, look, this girl's kicking ass. Yeah, and yeah. she was, like, beating all the soldiers up. She was kicking Superman's ass, and, like, <laughs> she was using her her powers, and, you know, and she still had her suit on and her helmet and stuff, her mm-hmm. breathing apparatus. So she just looked really tough. Yeah. Like, in her armored-up suit and then just kicking all these dudes' asses. Like, she looked awesome. I, that really stuck out for me. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah, that was a really cool scene. I thought too. Oh, I have to agree. I, I did. I did like that scene. Um, I. It's hard to. I guess my favorite was probably at the end when he's fighting Zod, because um, at or, the very end. 
Uh, or... Well, it's, it jumps. It's like the part <laughs> where the part where they kind of clear out an area and they're like pounding each other. Like after he takes off his armor and he just has <laughs> the black suit and they're like just pounding on each other back and forth. It's just like power all over the place. And then, <laughs> then at the very end where spoiler alert, he's about to kill these humans uh-huh. and he ends ends up having to break his neck. Because I was wondering how he was going to, how Superman was going to respond after he had to kill one of his own people. And the fact that it was painful for him and he screamed like that, to me, kind of was what I ex- I would have expected him to do if he actually really cared. And so that was, all that was my favorite scene. So, um, all right, we've gone over all the, the cool stuff. So now let's, let's uh, go into some more critiquing. I know we talked about the runtime and how that was it was a little long you know we did notice that um what else uh stuck out to you guys was there anything that was just really like oh come on or glaring glaringly obvious problems going on in the movie i didn't i didn't catch anything really i mean i i thought it was interesting how the opening was obviously with with the with the whole origin story kind of thing that it started on krypton because it the opening makes you think like you're this. I mean, I guess it's all sci-fi fantasy, mm-hmm. but like when it started, I was like, "This is like some Star Wars type." Yeah, stuff. it's like, what like, are we watching again? Yeah, it's like <laughs> totally like a different movie than what you're expecting. Like, it's, right? It's in a totally different thing. Like you're just seeing spaceships and outer space, weird and, animals, yeah, weird and alien yeah. animals and stuff. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, like that was like, wow, I was not expecting that at all for them yeah. to get that. Like, I get it. You can get the origin story. You see what happens to Krypton, uh-huh. but they really, I feel like they spent. I don't want to say a lot of time, but enough time where you're like, this is a totally different movie than... They spent a good amount of yeah, time Yeah, a good there, amount of time. Yeah, I, Giving I you that little bit of background story as to how his family died and his planet was destroyed. Mm-hmm. I agree. But, um, but again, not to say that that was a complaint or anything I noticed wrong, but I just... That was something I thought, like, wow, look at this. This is like a totally different movie split here, here you know? Right. Um, um, yeah, so... <laughs> you know, actually, that, I'm glad you brought that up, because that reminds me of something I wanted to bring up. Um... Okay, so we got Russell Crowe yeah. play, playing his yeah. father, father. J- Jor-El. Jor-El. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jor-El. <laughs> Whatever, Jor-El. <laughs> um, he pops up a lot in the movie, mm-hmm. and I know it's like because his, he said it was his soul conscience. or consciousness yeah. or something is in the in that that stick, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but. Um, I kind of felt like that was like a cop out. Like, oh, let's just, we want to have yeah, him interact with his son. We, so. we need the gladiator in this movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, okay, here I go. I'm sorry, I'm defending again. No, 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 because this, this, this gives yeah. me another angle, so go ahead, well, please. Well, I think that um, he knew that he was going to die and he wanted he wanted his son to have the visual. So it's probably some like holographic type of thing they had going on in the in the ship or or wherever that thing was cuz like he said when he put it in the other ship, he took over the mainframe so he yeah. could use any type of light or whatever to manifest himself. Mm-hmm. Um but I think that he mostly did it so it's easier cuz if you hear a computer and you're not used to it, you're like, who the who the hell is that? You're not, <laughs> you know, you're not going to pay attention, but if you see something right there, mm-hmm. you're focus is I'm I'm here Mm -hmm. you know and that's where and he just gives you something to look at and I so I I mean they probably overpaid Russell Crowe and they were like hey you're gonna read more scenes in this movie you're gonna work for your money that's true well, like, I mean, I, I don't mind him seeing him, mm-hmm. but it's, like, it, the because it was, like, basically him, like, his, it wasn't, like, a, a recording of him talking to him. Mm-hmm. It was, like, oh, I, I'm so happy I saw you grow up. And, like, you know, it was, like, really, really, really personal, where, in a way, I feel like, yeah, have him come up and talk to him, like, as the the conscious, whatever he yeah. is that's, you know, in the in the hallways and stuff, but it was just kind of, like, he didn't die because he was like helping him out the whole time while he's in the uh, in the ship and stuff. I'll go with that if like, because when he died, like okay, Zod stabbed him with that long thing, and then he died, and that he died like that was it. If he had like as he was dying, like put something into uh, um. the 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 ship that flew out to Earth or something just something because it's me watching the movie it's just like oh they just wanted to have him interact with his dad yeah I can see that the, I, I like you're mentioning that I, I I see what you mean now like there's a disconnect from his death to his yeah. rebirth, rebirth. <laughs> yeah yeah but I mean in in the original 
they kind of do that where he can respond to his son and, mm-hmm. oh, really? and everything. Yeah, so like he can respond and talk. Uh, okay. and he can ask questions. And I think that's what also what they were going for. Okay. Yeah, well, now that you said that, that makes sense. <laughs> I still feel like it's cheating a little, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what about all the action and destruction going on in this oh, movie? Boy. <laughs> a lot. The death count what, rises. Yeah, what, what do you think the death toll I, was? <laughs> I thought it was interesting because the whole thing was like, you can't stop saving people, Superman. But then it's like, as I blow down 20 giant skyscrapers and yeah it's like okay but you know those skyscrapers were not a vacuum yeah exactly it's like <laughs> let's save 15 people while i kill thousands you yeah, know it's yeah. like and then all the debris yeah <laughs> it's like wait a second five skyscrapers just tumbled to the ground and everybody died but you five are okay i'm yeah. out of here guys <laughs> let me hey, shoot hey, on out of yeah. here yeah hey hey maybe <laughs> nobody in metropolis works on a sunday maybe it's like a sunday and everybody was home <laughs> you don't know well they I should mean, have been like oh it's a sunday morning and nobody's in the yeah. office you yeah know? there were a lot of people at the daily bugle so yeah. that's true that's true <laughs> But that's also yeah. a paper. I just so. felt like my biggest thing, too, is I kept thinking about, like what I had said earlier, the the end scene in Avengers. And I felt like there was almost this competition of who can blow up more. Right. They were like, let's destroy the city more <laughs> and destroy, st- let's bring space and black holes and destroy everything yeah. we can. <laughs> you know? No, like, I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. The effects in that stuff were awesome. But mm-hmm. yeah, I just was like how many more buildings are they going to punch each other through? Yeah, yeah. You know? Well, yeah. that's like, um, I remember, I don't remember if it was the second Matrix movie or the third one. There's one of them where they're on like a freeway or something and Morpheus is fighting somebody. I forget who he's fighting. the two twins? The twins? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's fighting them and it's like this long-ass fight sequence and you're like, well, I don't really care anymore. Can we <laughs> yeah. do something else? Like, yeah. it's like, they're just like, they... And I remember they were touting it, like, when the movie first came out. They were like, oh, what, the 17-minute fight sequence yeah. on the freeway. And it's like, oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah. And then you see it, and you're like, it's like no, it's, I don't care yeah. anymore. Whatever, let's move on to something else. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think this, the, you know, the destruction and stuff going on in this movie wasn't anywhere near, like, as bad as that. Yeah. But I was just bringing it up where, like, okay, we're doing it to do it or to yeah. beat something else. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it's, like, at what cost? You yeah. know, you want your movie to always be... You know, you don't want any dull parts in your yeah. movies. So. Yeah. <laughs> or where people are going to look at their watches or be yeah. like, hey, you know, I noticed. Yeah. You, know, you don't want any of that. You want to just stay with the movie the whole time. Exactly. So, and uh, with, yeah, so it, the destruction, it wasn't horrible, but it was getting, it was, it, it was getting there. Yeah, I it was think. definitely over the top. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was getting kind of tired of them doing like the, the, the super push where they keep pushing or yeah. punching each other and they fly through like eight buildings. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I don't, yeah. oh, come on, can you just have some like hand to hand combat? Yeah. I don't, don't rip up the pavement. Just, yeah. I mean, like, I know they're super yeah. strong and everything, but I was, I was yeah. getting tired of it. I see. And I thought that was the thing too is they were like, let's show you that these guys are yeah. from another planet and are super powerful. So when they hit each other, they're going to fly, you know, and mm-hmm. which it was like, oh man, okay, I get it. These dudes are super powerful. But then, yeah, after you see it, one punch after another each one flies a mile away and then they come back to each other to punch again and fly a mile away it's like okay right. let's move on with the punching yeah you know <laughs> i was gonna say to add insult to injury there was one scene where he punched him flew up to him punched him flew up yes. to him punched yes. him and i was like yeah and i like, know i'm like come on <laughs> yeah 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 okay. i agree yeah so. so hopefully they'll tone that down on the next one <laughs> uh, hopefully so the, but, yeah, I mean, overall, those were the only, right? Can you guys, can you guys think of anything else that you wanted to mention? You know what? Something that stuck out in my mind is, <laughs> yeah. I know that they were doing, like, because they did a lot of flashback type stuff where they yes. would, or, or what do you call it, foreshadowing and stuff like that kind of thing. Right. Um, but it just seemed one of those, it, it, it reminded me of one of those cheesy type of movies where things conveniently worked out. And, again, I know they were flashbacking, but it was like, you're Superman. This bus is sinking. Save us. <laughs> oh, my God. There's a tornado. You're Superman. Yeah, Somebody he, save us. Yeah. It's like he, he was, was in the right place conveniently in the right place at the right time when some big major event was happening. Mm-hmm. And, again, they didn't happen consecutively because they showed him in, like, 
you know, yeah. uh, like flashbacks and stuff. So you're like, okay, I get that. That story happened somewhere and this is where he did something. Right, right. But the way it plays out in the movie, you're like, great, a bus crash. Great, there's a tornado. Yeah, great, like if like, he was a person, it's like, man, you're an unlucky yeah, person. Yeah, right? <laughs> like everywhere you go, dude, some crazy stuff. I was totally crazy expecting stuff. like some robbers to come in somewhere yeah, he was at. Yeah, you know, like, and, like, give me all your money. And yeah, then he would do something. Yeah, like so he just always seemed to be in the right place at the right time, which again, I get it, but it, it was kind of like, all right. Uh, yeah. yeah, like, okay. <laughs> I was just say, I just thought of something that disappointed me a little bit. Okay, what was that? Uh, the bar scene or restaurant scene, whatever. Mm. In the original, <laughs> the, doesn't the dude the dude tries to hit him, and he kind of like I mean he's defensive, he's not offensive, but it was still a little bit more going on in the bar. Uh-huh. Like I mean I did like what eventually happened. I mean because that was just awesome. Oh, with but, the truck. <laughs> <laughs> But like in the but in the original I was that's what I was expecting not him for him to just walk away, but for him to at least be a little more defensive like like I said the dude's punching him and um, Christopher Reeves were like you know he was like jumping moving back yeah and forth and, he could have done you know. something like yeah, not not actually yeah. hit him but like yeah. duck him like make make him look like an ass yeah you know? yeah so I, I yeah I do agree with that <laughs> <laughs> which yeah I mean these are all like they're not really there weren't any like major plot holes or anything yeah. not that I can think no. of in there at all i'd be curious to see what like hardcore superman fans oh god you know what i mean like what what they would nerd out on and be like this doesn't work (laughs) you know like i I mean i appreciate that because it's like sometimes that kind of stuff is annoying but Mm -hmm. in the case of like they obviously know a lot more about it than i do so i Mm -hmm. sometimes like to get their opinions on what they thought was legit like whoa that would really be in the case of like you know Superman's yeah, universe that's why whatever, I like. But... I'll read reviews. Everybody's yeah. like, "Oh, well, I don't, I don't go by reviews." I'm like, yeah. "I don't either. I just like yeah. to read them, yeah. to see, see other people think. Yeah, yeah, or like you said, yeah. to ask somebody who knows all yeah. this stuff. Like, yeah. I remember when I went to see the Avengers, yeah. and at the end, there's that uh, guy. They know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Him. I was like, "What the hell? Like, yeah. this is cool, but I don't know who this is." <laughs> yeah. So the next day, I went into work, and there's a bunch of like super comic book yeah, guys there yeah, <laughs> so yeah. i asked them they gave me all the lowdown i'm yeah. like okay good now yeah. I, you know because i don't i don't know anything so yeah. this, is, this is good <laughs> yeah. so yeah i like to get other perspectives well i mean they changed his 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 costume yeah. so you know he took the underwear off yep, no red underwear <laughs> but I, I i liked his costume and i really liked how it like i liked how they made stuff because superman t- like i don't i don't like i said before i don't really like superman all that much and i like how his costume was part of what people or what men or warriors, I'm sorry, warriors wore back on his home planet. Mm-hmm. You know, it was the same material and it was set up the same way. The whole thing with the S, how that meant something, actually mm-hmm. meant something. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just an S for Superman. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I, so I liked all that, how they, you know, put stuff in to help explain yeah. um, stuff that I don't normally really like about Superman. <laughs> Let me think what else. And I like how it ended on him getting the job at the Daily Bugle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, because I was like, are they going to just not do that yeah. in this movie? Or what's going to happen with yeah. that? So, I thought it was a cute way to end it. Um, and I, I really, I want to give a little shout out to the uh, <laughs> the guy that works at the movie theater. He actually told us that there wasn't anything after <laughs> yeah. the credits. Oh, yeah. He's like, there's like four minutes of credits. You guys don't have to wait. <laughs> so, nice. Yeah. yeah, that was good. I, I, I thought, you know, maybe there would be, but... No. Now let me add something too here. While at the end there, when he's at the Daily Bugle and uh-huh. he's talking with um, Lois Lane, Clark Kent is talking to Lois Lane. Did she know that? Because I kind of got like she knows, you know? but then at the same time I was like, does she not know? Like it, it kind of went both ways. Where I was it's, like, yeah. I don't think she knows, but I wasn't quite sure because it was one of the thing in the in my head. Mm-hmm. I was making the joke of like. Who's that guy with the glasses? He I doesn't totally... look like Superman. Right, like queen shaven and everything. Yeah, but, but then Lois Lane's like, hi, Clark Kent. Like, wait, you know that guy. I know you know that guy. Yeah. But then it was right. like the way she played it off. I was like, well, maybe she doesn't recognize him. So I Yeah, they, sure. they weren't really definite, yeah. I don't think, with that. Well, I think it's funny. I was just going to say something about that. <laughs> but I was going to say I like the fact that out of all the things that they don't do with Lois Lane, how like like we don't connect with her and all that sort of stuff, I do like the fact that she isn't stupid. 
I really think <laughs> yeah. that she knew it was him. Okay. Okay. That's and, what you know, it seems. Yeah. That's what it seems. Yeah. yeah. And I th- cuz I cuz it's I think that that was a debate with the movie versus the comic book. Like I don't I'm a Marvel fan, not a big DC fan, but I do know a little bit about Superman and I think in the comic book she knows it's him. And okay. the oh, and yeah, the yeah. movie And the movie she doesn't. Yeah. Oh, so that's like stupid. just cuz you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that's what I got. So, I was like yeah, so I think uh, that's why I think that they initially made. I mean, that's why I think that they made it made it that way so that you would know that she knew that it was it yeah. was him. Yeah, because I mean, when she was researching him, she saw his name and everything. Yeah. So yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I like that too. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because yeah, she knew mm-hmm. Clark Kent. So yeah, it just was weird the way they did that. Like I said, mm-hmm. the way they played it off, I almost it put doubt in my head of yeah. like, does she not realize who that is? Like Oh, I I, yeah. I that that would have severely hurt the movie yeah. for me. If she <laughs> didn't know who right, was. saying Clark Kent and she did all the research to find him yeah. and stuff. So yeah, she would have to know. And if and if she didn't, then they screwed up. She did. So. I'm gonna have to go with it. She did. Yeah, yeah. 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 That makes sense. So okay, there you go. You cleared that up for Thank me. I'm, I'm gonna sleep better tonight. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah. Mystery solved. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite Zack Snyder movie? So let's see. He did 300, mm-hmm. and he did Sucker Punch, mm-hmm. the Dawn of the Dead remake, mm-hmm. uh, and that owl movie that I didn't the see. Of- yeah. Oh, he did yeah. that. Uh-huh. Yeah. I actually. That wasn't bad. I, actually, I didn't see it. I I've to. never seen that, but the armor design on uh-huh. those yeah, owls awesome. is yeah. so awesome <laughs> that is. I'm like, there's this part of me that I'm like, I need to see owls in armor. I need to see <laughs> the owls. only reason I want to see it, because I'm afraid of birds, but the only oh, reason yeah. I want to see it is because I know he did the movie. Oh, see, I had but no I'm, idea. Hmm, I'm, I, I want to say that that's it. I think okay. those are the main movies he's done. Well, for me, i definitely say uh, 300. I would 300. say 300 is totally like, I love that movie. Yeah. And I love the Dawn of the Dead remakes. So I, that's one of my I favorite movies, that. actually. I good. love that movie. And I'm a huge horror fan, and I totally can't stand remakes a lot of times, mm-hmm. but yeah. I feel like he did such a good job with that yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I love that movie. Yeah, it's such a good movie. So, yeah. Huh? That was one at the mall? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But um, I guess I like... I actually like all of those. I mean, like, I, see, I really like all those. The only one that I didn't really like was Sucker Punch. Well, see, and I I like Sucker Punch because I think um, I don't know. I looked at it a different way, I guess, and I. You know what? Uh, Hold on one second. Let me clarify something about Sucker Punch. (laughs) Sucker Punch, he actually wrote that movie and directed it. The other ones he just directed. Directed. So that, I think he should stick to directing and not writing anything. Okay, so now go ahead. What were you saying? Sorry. No, that was my fault. I mean, I I liked, it was, to me, it was artistic, but it was artistic done where it kind of, you at least were able to make some sense of the movie. Not like something else. I'm not mentioning it because I don't want to admit that we saw it. So, <laughs> it was, are you talking about Lords of Salem? <laughs> oh, man, <see> <laughs> I, I already brought that up on my <laughs> podcast. Lords of Boredom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I, I like the, the way the movie was done and how it just gave a different perspective as like what is, to what was really going on it kind of gave you a more entertaining view of what was really going on. And I like anime and big bunnies and robots. <laughs> so it oh, had a bunch of stuff okay, in it. Yeah. Yeah. That, that goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and, so, and I like that it was her subconscious that she was, you know, battling against and, and everything. And, and in turn, battling with these people outside of her. But I don't want to get into details about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> but okay. I, just, I just really like the movie. Um, I know a lot of people didn't, but... I thought, awesome. I thought it was okay. So yeah, Sucker Punch. I mean, looked really awesome. Yeah. I just the storyline was a little. Yeah, I think a lot of people were disappointed that it wasn't what it was. was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, I yeah. was at first, but then I was like, you know, I, to me, it brought it back to reality. <laughs> I mean, like the effects look like the movie looked really cool, and like the direction like that part of it I really liked it was just the story I think needed some tweet he needed somebody else to look yeah. at it I yeah, think like, like, proofread this please yeah can you, can you check this and give me your notes on it, please? <laughs> like I remember there was like story within a story but now it's yes. starting to run together for me see I got that too I figured that out and I got it all and put it all together too but I kind of looked at it like it was one of those and now it even makes more sense as to what you said Tina in the sense of he wrote it and directed it mm-hmm. because it made me think of one of those like a Rob Zombie thing where it's like I'm going to put everything I love into one movie <laughs> yeah, and try yeah. to tie it together in a story, yeah. which there was a story there, not the greatest, but there was a story, mm-hmm. but it was like, 
I'm gonna make Let's get robots some dragons and, and some zombies, and hot yeah. chicks, and yeah, yes. zombies. Yes. 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 And then yes. I'm gonna somehow find a way to tie it together. It's Let's like see. we need, we have, we have to have a dragon scene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Write so. a story that. Yeah. <laughs> and see, that's why I said his at least, at least he was smart enough to realize, like, okay, I know I'm gonna throw all this crap together. Yeah. But let me just say it's her imagination, and then yeah. I can get away with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. He made it. He made it make sense at least in yeah. a way. Better than Rob Zombie. <laughs> yeah. I'm well, than that. yes, yeah, that I will agree on. But and I, I, I really like Zack Snyder. I, yeah. There's a lot of people that don't. Yeah. I think he's I a like, great director. I yeah. really, lo- I wouldn't want him directing every movie. But yeah. I, I like his style. I, I think would. it looks really good. Well, I mean, that pretty much wraps up everything we talked about. Right? I think we covered yeah, I think everything. So. I yeah. Think so. yeah. Yeah, we talked a little bit about Zack Snyder, which I wanted to do too. Um, what's uh, what's next for you guys? What's the next big summer movie? And that would be World War Z. That is World War Z. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that yeah. would be the next. I, uh, I'm a little worried. I'm really? a little worried. Honestly, I'm a little worried. Yeah. No. That that movie uh, uh, right now is like super expensive because they had yeah. to massively reshoot the ending or something yeah, like I, that. Yeah, I heard Brad Pitt and the guy that I guess did it didn't get along too well. Yeah, and, yeah. There, there's a lot of negative yeah. publicity about yeah. that movie right now. Um, did either of you guys read the book? I read some of it. No. I read about half of yeah. it. And it was very interesting. <laughs> yeah. I just never finished yeah. it. Um, and, uh, but I think it's totally different. It's totally yeah. different, yeah. The movie yeah, doesn't the movie doesn't have anything to do really with the book. I mean, unless they somehow sort of spin it some way, like mm-hmm. where somebody's narrating or something maybe. But, yeah, the way the book goes, it yeah. doesn't look like it. it. Yeah, it looks totally different. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I love zombie movies and I like the way the zombies are yeah. in this movie. Yeah. So And I like Brad Pitt, yeah. too. So I'm I'm excited to see it, but I am I'm also yeah, a, little I'm a little worried. worried yeah, <laughs> I feel like it's a zombie movie. It's obviously a newer zombie movie because mm-hmm. they have a lot of runners to the right. point of they're climbing all over each other. <laughs> yeah, Brad Pitt is in it. It's PG thirteen. Yeah, see, so yeah. PG thirteen like, is a little I, yeah, scary. Yeah, I'm like, I feel like Hollywood is all over this movie, mm-hmm. and I'm yeah. like, it's a zombie movie. I'm like, yeah. and I you know what else? See... Oh, go ahead. No, yeah. no, I, you're good. I, I, I just want to see like I don't want to say I don't want to see change uh-huh. but yeah i'm like oh hollywood is all over it and i just yeah I'm more that makes me worried when it comes to like it, a zombie movie yeah, yeah. it was know. supposed to come out like last winter i think oh, really? and then it got pushed all the way back so that's never really a yeah. good sign i think either. i remember reading something about that yeah um and i totally agree about the whole pg-13 thing yeah. mm, like 95 percent of the time because yeah. i just saw uh white house down the other day yeah. Yeah. that movie you know, ten or fifteen years ago, it would have been like when we were younger. That would have yeah. been a uh, hard R movie, yeah. Yeah. very bl- very bloody, a uh, lot of curse words. And this movie, White House Now, is actually PG thirteen, oh. but I it, I didn't mind it at all. Yeah, there's it all, was okay. I yeah, mean, like see, there's like, a shitload of people that die in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. there's just a lot of violence and stuff, yeah. but I didn't mind it. So. But that was like a fluke because yeah. most of the time it's like yeah. they should have just gone for the R. Yeah, there, there, there's a few movies that you're like, okay, that was r- mm-hmm. regardless of the PG-13, it worked for it, it was mm-hmm. good. Right. But yeah, sometimes there's some movies where I'm like, right off the bat, I'm like, this should be a hardcore flick. Yeah. And if I'm seeing PG-13, I'm like, oh, that already just I makes agree. me wonder. You know? <laughs> yep. It yep. turns you off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree. Well, I mean, I I don't know what to expect. Um, you know, because I um. I haven't read the book at all. I don't know anything about it. Um, I just know they look like uh, 28 Days Later Zombies on Crack. So I'm just mm-hmm. curious. Mm-hmm. And I, too, like Brad Pitt. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's honestly, I, he's, except for in, um, if anybody remembers this, um, A Devil's Own, The Devil's Own or whatever. Oh, I remember that movie. I didn't it, see it. <laughs> no, except for that. Uh-huh. He... Oh, I'm Burn After Reading. Okay. He's never, ever disappointed me. Oh, but okay. I will say that. Burn After Reading was horrible. Oh, man. And I haven't seen that one either. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so he hasn't disappointed, especially when it comes to action. You mm-hmm. know, so he hasn't really disappointed me. So yeah, I'm I love hoping, Brad Pitt. and it's always good to see 28 Days Later Zombies yeah. on Crack. See, that's <laughs> one thing I think with this movie, too, is I've only seen a couple trailers because I've been trying to keep myself away from the trailers. Yeah, exactly. mm-hmm. But the few that I have seen... I feel like it's definitely more of an action movie yeah. than a straight up horror zombie film. Yes, yeah, because definitely. I feel like okay. so far I haven't seen any kind of like what I would consider a horror movie, other than the fact that obviously I see dead people or maybe infected Running fast, people. So, yeah. Yeah. So even in that sense of horror, if you want to really nerd out, are they dead? Are they undead? Or are right. they just infected in some kind of weird virus and they're just running around like what the true definition of zombie, I guess, mm-hmm. is in the sense of mindless. So it's like, yeah, dead, undead, whatever it is. But yeah, it looks just like an action movie. But again, I'm, I'm, I'm down. So. Mm-hmm. He said, "I see dead people." 
Yeah. I'm trying to get uh, there's a screening on Tuesday, oh, so uh, Monday afternoon. I'm gonna get those tickets, hopefully. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be that would be awesome. Mm. And of course, um, in I don't remember sometime in July, but Pacific Rim Pacific is Rim. coming out. Yeah, <laughs> I get more excited about that. I, can't, I, uh, I cannot God. wait for that movie. Robots and monsters. Yep. Oh, Man, yeah. robots, monsters. Guillermo yeah. del Toro is directing yeah. it, yeah. and friggin'. Oh, Let me just. Uh, <laughs> I know. I think I know. I think I know where you're going. <laughs> no, man. Okay, Ron Perlman is in it. Yeah. Who I yeah. love. I love Ron Perlman. I, I didn't know he was in it. Me either. I until I was <laughs> What's his name from? There's always it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Charlie Charlie mm-hmm. Day is in it. Who I just find funny. Uh-huh. And Jax Charlie Hunnam from Sons of Anarchy is in it. I think he's the lead. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> my favorite is in it too. So it's. I'm super psyched about that. I'm like really like oh. nerd. <laughs> I'm excited about that movie. Yeah, see for me I think the whole fact that they reference the monsters also as kaiju. Which yeah, is, yeah, yeah. Which is, you know, Japanese giant monster. So it's like the fact that they reference that word in the sense of Japanese monster films, I was like, what? <laughs> I need to see this movie. Yeah, yeah I'm, like, I'm awesome. super stoked for yeah. that one. Yeah, awesome. Uh, what day does that come out? I want to say it comes out the 12th, actually. I think, I think it did say the 12th in the previous. So it's in a couple weeks. Yeah. It's coming up. It's going to be awesome. So may- maybe maybe you guys can come guest on that podcast yeah. that week. Oh, that <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm thinking, like, usually, you know how they have, like, around the 4th, a big blockbuster movie? What is that supposed to be this year? Because mm. Independence Day was, of course, the, like... That was the Will Smith weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But after Earth already came out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I heard that's not doing real good either. No, um, you know, I actually things. I got tickets to that, but I was on my uh, vacation, oh, so I couldn't okay. see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I only know one person. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I know two people that saw it, and they liked it. Okay. But the one person, she likes like every movie. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, there's there's parts of it that look cool to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm not a huge Will Smith guy. Mm-hmm. But at the same, it doesn't matter really. But yeah, yeah, like there's parts of it where I, I like the concept and the story, at least what I know about it. it right. Looks cool. But yes, I've already been hearing bad things, and I'm like, oh man, it looks cool. Um, I'll probably rent it, and if yeah. I if I was here when I had yeah. those free tickets, I definitely would have gone and yeah. seen it. But it's not something I'm going to pay. My- it's just yeah. there's something about it that's not really gripping me think- about the movie. I'm oh, sorry. No, go, go ahead. ahead. I think that part of the reason why people are like not liking it or not as excited about it is because it's like that the trail the tail end. I mean, of the that visually stunning phase. Mm Because you had Cloud Atlas, um, Oblivion was like that too, where it was visually stunning. Yeah. You know, and then you have, it was some other movies in between, I don't remember, and then you have Mm -hmm. this, and this is like the tail end end of the um, anti-apocalyptic, or apocalyptic, sorry, Mm -hmm. visually stunning what's going to happen after we all go mm-hmm. type of deal. I think Yeah, that's what... yeah, it's it's like a cycle kind of yeah. thing. So that and I don't know, I got, I mean I didn't see the Karate Kid, oh. but uh or the Pursuit the of Happiness Kung actually yeah, now that Kung I think Kung about Kung it. Kung Kung um but uh <laughs> it, like him acting with his son, son. it's like mm, See, that's I don't know. And I, I I like Will Smith as Will Smith yeah. in movies, I know he doesn't yeah. really have a whole crap load of range, yeah. or he doesn't show a lot of range in his movies, but he's fine in those types of movies. But him and his kid, I don't know. And then it's also, it's an M. Night Shyamalan movie, which yeah. his movies are very yeah. hit or that's, miss. Yeah, I think, because if you notice, they don't, yeah, that's they're not, not using that at they're all. They're not, that's yeah, not I a actually selling just point. just found out recently that <laughs> that was his oh, movie, really? and I'm like, wow, they're really hiding that. Yeah. They're, really, yeah. they're well, doing a good job at hiding he's, that. He's, he's, he's had a, what are those yeah. last couple movies? Uh, yeah. Avatar. The last Airbender. Yeah, last Airbender. Oh, sorry, last Airbender. Was that the The Lady in the Water. Yeah, and I stopped after that, like. I saw Whatever that. came before Lady in the Water, that was it. The Happening, the yeah, that, right? No, the, was it the, no, the Happening, you're right. Oh, the, the happening. happening, yeah. With the killer plants thing. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, yeah. yeah, his last couple After movies. After that, which I thought that was okay, but I was like, done. I was like, I don't need to yeah. see it anymore. He the last one. At the Village. I didn't like The Village. Mm-hmm. I called that movie halfway through it. I'm I, like, nah, yeah, I, don't I like did this. too. I figured out The Village right away. And I usually, I don't do that usually. So, for me to do that, 
Yeah. You're slacking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I love signs. Yeah, signs. Signs creep the hell out of me. I, I really like that movie. <laughs> so I, I, I like Unbreakable. Yeah, Unbreakable was good. He I need did. to see that again. Oh, I only shit. saw it once. I love yeah. that movie. I think it's good. He was good at the beginning, but it's like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if he, he got like high on himself, and then yeah. he's just like, ah, whatever. It's he fine. Just, <laughs> he's always going he, for that twist thing. Yeah. And it's like, you know. He came too early. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> no puns. Uh, well, that that kind of fits. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's some sound effects. But, yeah, but, yeah. I think. I mean, I saw Pursuit of Happiness, and I saw Seven Pounds. Seven Pounds was awesome. That was oh, man, I love seven every It's in. It's in my uh, to watch. I, love, I haven't I love, seen. I love it. Love yeah, pounds, yeah, man. it's in there. Cry every time, and I don't like to cry. I, I cry hate crying every single Plus, time. Uh, uh, Rosario Dawson. Yeah. yeah. Woody Harrelson. I love Woody Harrelson's Dawson. in it, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rosario I really like Rosario Dawson. Dawson. <laughs> she's hot. Yeah, she's hot, she, she oh, is. there's a movie that. you should watch then her. if you think yeah. she's hot. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. anyway, yeah. I mean, good. Pursuit of Happiness was um, kind of like that where it builds you up, you build up the emotion, and you. It's based on a true story, and he's playing with the sun. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, it did its job. It was really good, but like you said, it was a that kind of movie, right? You know, um, other than Independence Day, I don't really recall, and, and um, MIB. Other than that, I don't really recall him in many. Oh, I'm sorry, Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like action movies, but even still, he's still playing that personality where he's... He's playing Will Smith. Yeah, pretty much. He's Will Smith, <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, people like that. He's one of yeah, the yeah. biggest, most bankable yeah. stars in the world. That's so, true, I mean, yeah. it's it's like a brand or whatever. <laughs> but And that that's fine. Um, that works for him. It works for Tom Cruise. It works for a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really say a whole lot without actually seeing the yeah, movie. Yeah. 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 We have to see it. Yeah, we, we'll have to just see it. <laughs> It'll be a movie night. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a red box night. Yeah. But yeah, I don't, I can't think of anything that's coming out on the Fourth of July weekend. You'd think there would be something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Those I are... just, I'm waiting for uh, Pacific Rim and yeah, that's I want to see Elysium. So that's, yeah. I really that doesn't come out till August. Is that I think. August? Yeah. yeah. See, I don't remember the date because I just was like. The guy from District 9 <laughs> doing a movie again. Yeah. yeah. No, I remember seeing the 8 in there, so I'm pretty sure it's in August. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait for that. That just looks so awesome to me. Yeah, I'm, I do want to see that. Because, I mean, I'm not, I don't really like um, Matt Damon. What? I, I know. I don't. Get what? out. <laughs> I know. If you, all right. All right, if you watch Hereafter and then fault. come back, did you ever see that? No. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm doing a Goodwill reference. Oh. Goodwill, good, Goodwill, Goodwill hunting, hunting reference. Goodwill hunting. Goodwill hunting. Yeah. 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 What? It's not your fault. Uh, what? It's not your fault. Don't mess with me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch it. You gotta I watch do, it. I How do you do do like them apples? apples? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got a number. <laughs> Yeah, I have to watch that. I think I watched yeah. part of it. All right, I'm you like, watch okay. that. I'll watch here after. Oh yeah. Um. Oh man. <laughs> if you make it through that. Then you let me know. <laughs> oh, all right. But, yeah, but, I, but I, I'm all for cyborgs and, and connecting, you know, bionic yeah. parts to people. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that definitely, it looks interesting. It's just not, the last movie for me of the summer that I'm super psyched about, really, is Pacific Rim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I do want to see World War Z, but mm-hmm. if I, that, I'm going to see Pacific Rim. If I have to go by myself, I'm going to see <laughs> Pacific Rim. <laughs> But nothing. yeah, not then after that it's nothing till uh, November and December well, probably. I know they'll probably be the horror films will probably start rolling out once the fall shit, kicks shit. in. Shit, yeah. I made a mistake. Yeah, Uh-oh. I think uh, <laughs> Friday the thirteenth, September thirteenth, Insidious two comes yeah, out. Insidious Forget 2. it. I yeah, I made yeah, a mistake. I was, <laughs> <'Cause> I, <laughs> all time like after the summer blockbusters uh-huh, because yeah. like right now I think there's a few horror films coming out, but being that they're horror, the genre that never gets any kind of play at all really. Right. They always just get tossed to the side, so you kinda usually have to look for them. Yeah. They're uh, usually the fall or right after the new year, yeah, I, I noticed. Yeah. So, so. That's, what, that's what I was gonna say too. I always look for the Fourth of July movie because that's like the American feel good movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I look for the horror movie because it was saw for like what, seven years. Yeah. Ugh, God, yeah. <laughs> I did like those, by the way. Yeah. So. I saw, like, I think all of them, yeah. and <laughs> they all ran together, yeah. and I don't remember yeah, any of them. Yeah. See, I'm waiting for uh, Maniac. The new, oh, yeah. The new Maniac with uh, Elijah Wood. Yeah, I want to say he's good at yeah. crazy. 
Yeah. I want to see that. I, like, I don't know anything about that. I, I think it comes out in July, I think. I think it already came out in the UK. Oh, but okay. But I think it's coming here in the US, it's, which it's another movie where I have a feeling it's not going to get much play no. because the original is a pretty hardcore flick. I haven't even heard of it. So, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a pretty hardcore flick, and being that the remake, I mean, I saw the trailer for the remake. And it still looks pretty hardcore. So mm-hmm. I was really? like, oh man, like I'd be surprised if this even gets released in theaters. So I'm still kind of like, they say it's going to get released, but I'm yeah. like, is it really going to get released? Maybe it'll it... be like a, like a select theater. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, limited, I have a feeling it. that it might be that. Because like I said, from the trailers I've seen, it looked pretty hardcore. Like there was hmm. some, some pretty good stuff where I was like, yeah. I need to see this. It looks awesome. That's what, yeah, I want to. Because that was a movie when I was a kid. The original scared the shit out of me. So yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. yeah like I don't, yeah. I'll have to check me. that out. So. <laughs> Yeah, that one, it did. And then, yeah, whatever other horror movies come out. There's another one called The Conjuring. Oh, uh, yeah. I want to see that, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's Patrick Wilson and... Oh boy, I forgot his name. James Wan, I think he's oh, the one yeah, who. Oh yeah, the guy from Saw. Yeah, the, yeah the Saw, Saw and Insidious. Yeah, 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 so I'm like yeah. sold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that too. Yeah. 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 And then Purge, the Purge. I want to see the Purge too. That's already out. Yeah. Is that out already? Yeah. Okay. Out, yeah. See, I wasn't even sure about that one. It did. It came out on the seventh last week. Oh okay. But I heard mixed reviews about that. So. Me too. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. I was like, I want to see it because I'm curious, okay. but. Um, so I, I like I like hearing bad reviews, especially a movie I want to see anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. because I won't expect much yeah, when I go. So yeah. when I see it, yeah. you know, I can be unbiased. So yeah. that's kind of what I heard that it was kind of like they don't really explain anything. Mm-hmm. Like why do we have you know how like um, Hunger Games go into a little bit like why we have this and why right. you know and why it's going on or what you know why we can kill people one day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. But they um but um but they said the purge doesn't. It's just the whole movie is like an episode of Strangers. Okay. It's kind of like what we what, it seems like. what we thought yeah, yeah. what we mm, thought anyway. Okay. So. But I'm still curious. I still want to see. Yeah. I'll I'll watch that like on yeah. Redbox or Netflix yeah. or something. Yeah. And, and like I'm not. I don't have to go to the movies to see yeah. it. Yeah. But Insidious. Yeah. I'm yeah, going I'm opening see, night. I'll see that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah for sure. I'm gonna turn all the lights on in the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was creepy. That'll be good. Mm. With Darth Maul. Darth <laughs> Maul. Oh my god. <laughs> he scared the shit out of me. Yeah. I, I, I can't lie. Like, they, all right. <laughs> think we're about ready to wrap it up now so yes thank you guys very much for coming and talking to me i didn't want to just do this podcast yeah. by myself oh, no problem. <laughs> so yeah hopefully we can have you back at some point to do this. yay fun. and we all like the movie so that was great um let's see shamar i do know that you uh do a little art on the side so uh oh. if somebody wanted to check out your artwork what would be the best way to do that the best way to do that would be to like me on facebook at sholorobos.com or not dot com but, yeah, but I do have a sholorobos.com but okay. like sholorobo with an S you know that. All right, why, why don't you spell that oh I'm sorry S-H-O-L-O-R-O-B-O-S how many O's? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. And do, are you on Twitter or anything like that? Yes. Yes. I'm also on Twitter and Tumblr. And um, like I said, I have my own website, mm-hmm. um, SholaRobos.com. And it's just like, I don't have any specific genre of art. It's right. just whatever I feel like creating, I create it and I create some weird stuff. So check them. Check it out. It'd be great. Thanks. Yeah, see, there you go. So, yeah, go yeah. check out Shamara's artwork. Willis, do you have anything? You'll be following you on Twitter or anything? Uh, yeah, I got a Twitter. It's uh, at Armored Foe, which is A R M O R E D Foe, F O E. I just have a thing for armor, so that's why I name myself that. But that's uh, stupid. Yeah, yeah, I just, yeah, if you want to follow me, I just tweet and random shit about nothing. So, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. That's always fun. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, our email address is still damselsindebate at gmail.com. Uh, we also have our own website now, or .com. It's damselsindebate.com. And then Woo-hoo. you can also find us on Twitter and Facebook. So, I like it. Yeah. Me too. Cool. Great. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, guys. And I hope you had fun. And, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>